I think that most of the cranksets from the two big S's, SRAM and Shimano, are just geared too high for touring, commuting, and regular folks riding. There's a lot of aspirational top-end gears and not enough useful low-end gears. I did a video a few days ago that gave a list of alternative cranks to the major brands that did offer useful low gears. A lot of those options used a square taper bottom bracket, uh, which I'm actually completely fine with, but to make those people that will die of existential doubt happy, uh, this is a list of some alt cranks that use external bottom brackets. Again, big thanks to Adam who assembled this nerd crank database. Uh, I'll link it to the description below. There's lots of cool options which you just might not be aware of. Once again, if you dig this content where I'm not telling you the latest electronic group set is a group set of the people, please consider supporting the channel by joining us on Patreon or stopping by the merch store and picking up some stickers and patches and all that good stuff. The first crank I want to mention is this guy. This is the IXF crank. Yes, the crank arms are like this. I removed it from the bike. You can get this crank set from Uncle Jeff. A lot of people set this up as a one by, but it actually has two BCDs, uh, 104, 64. So you can run this as a double. It's not the lightest crank. It is not the prettiest crank, but it's pretty dang affordable. I think you get the crank arms and their bottom bracket, uh, which is compatible with other Shimano 30 millimeter uh, outboard bottom brackets for something like 60 bucks is what I paid. That does not include the chain rings. You will have to source the chain rings yourself. But if you want to do some kind of low stake experiments on finding lower gears that work for you, then this isn't too bad. Another really interesting and affordable uh, alternative crank set is the Samox G3. Uh, this uses a 104-64 BCD, and I've seen this priced anywhere from 60 to $100, including the rings. What's cool is that you can find it sometimes with a 4630, but also a 4428. You can run low gears, it's got low Q, and it's super cheap. If you can find it, this is an interesting one to check out. The next few crank sets I haven't had direct experience with, but seem pretty popular in the bike nerd nerdosphere. So the next crank is the Dixna La Crank. You can buy this online from Alex Cycles. They're an online retailer based in Japan. It uses the 110 slash 74 BCD, which really seems like the ideal BCD combo for experimenting with sub sub compact cranks. This is compatible with 24 uh, millimeter outboard bearings by Shimano. And what's unique about these is that you can get them in a really wide length of uh, crank length all the way down from 130 to 175 in varying increments. So it's been described in the Nerd Crank database as the ideal crank for short people that want a low Q and sub sub compact gearing. Another great option, which I actually ran on uh, some personal bikes many, many years ago, is the Sugino OX801D and its various variants. Again, it uses the 110-74 BCD combo. And for a time, they were offering big rings from 52 to 44 and small rings from 36 to 28. So you can make a super wide range uh, double with it. I think when I had it, I might have been running something crazy like a 4626 or 4624 or something. But yeah, an, an awesome option if you can afford it and if you can find it. Another interesting option is the IRD Lobo. Again, it has that 110-74 BCD combo, which I love. You used to be able to buy this on the Soma Fab website. It's currently out of stock, uh, but there is a good chance that it's going to return in a couple of months. Wink, wink. We're gonna get into some splashier options here. There's of course the White Industries G30 for gravel and the R30 for road. As the name suggests, they use 30 millimeter outboard bearings. And since it uses their proprietary BBC, you can mix and match like crazy combos. In terms of big ring options, you got everything from 52 to 38. From small rings, you can spec 38 all the way down to 24. So that 4226 or 4224 combo that I like, easily achievable with white industries. But you do have to throw down that cash. Another interesting option that I don't have direct experience with but has been thrown around is that Raceface has this whole cinch system. So aside from using one by direct rings on their cranks, they also make a spider that will take two chain rings. They use the 10464 combo, same thing as the IXF and the Samox. So again, you can make that wide range double and easily get below that 30 tooth 
uh, small ring. And the last one is Ignite components in their Inferno and Catalyst crank. We did a live stream with the folks at Ignite Cranks learning how to use software to design their crank. It's pretty cool looking stuff. I actually got to try their Catalyst crank when I was testing out uh, the hardtack. It was set up one by, but they are also machining their own spiders. So for the road crank, you can get a 110 slash 74 combo or a 130 74 combo. So again, there is an option for that 110 74 magical BCD, which a lot of people think is the ideal uh, BCD combo if you want to do a wide range double. So there you go, a lot of options to go sub sub compact with an external bottom bracket. All right, hopefully the five uh, crank nerds out there will find this video helpful and enjoyable. Hopefully it has opened your eyes to the world of alt cranks beyond what Specialized and Shimano offers. If you appreciate this content, uh, please join us on Patreon, stop by the merch store. That's how we're able to talk about these products that no one else talks about. And as always, everybody, keep the supple side down.